if you're receiving TDIU or total disability based on individual unemployability, can you run a business? Hey guys, Andy Gross, Law Office of Andrew P. Gross. Today I wanted to answer a question that I've gotten several questions on recently, which is whether or not if you're receiving TDIU, can you run a business? So let's do a quick recap. TDIU occurs when you may not be rated at 100%, but the VA acknowledges that your service-connected disabilities have resulted in you being unable to gain and maintain substantial gainful employment. Now, there are a couple different tests for this, and I'm not going to get into details on that. That's for another video. But if you're receiving this TDIU benefit, you might only be rated at 70 or 80%, but you're getting the 100% payment. Because again, the VA has determined that you're unable to work. When I say unable to work, that just means... Uh, you're not gainfully employed, meaning that you're earning below poverty wages. So if you're working very part-time and you're making less than about $14,000, $15,000 a year, and this is again in 2023 dollars, you're not gainfully employed. You're making poverty wages. Uh, so you can work, just not a lot. The question I get though is, well, what if I run my own business and make money that way? This is gets a little bit complicated. I'm not entirely qualified to speak on it because it has to do with what you can characterize as business income versus profit and distributions. And that is something that you need to talk to an accountant for because there are all sorts of rules when you characterize things as income versus business profit. The way the VA looks at this is they're looking at earned income, which is wages, salary. I'm exchanging time for money. If I'm making $15 an hour and I work 100 hours in any given year at that job, I've made $1,500. The VA considers that beneath the threshold for substantial gainful employment. That's, le that's under the TDIU ceiling for earned income. But if you own your own business, you may also be taking profits. Let's say you have money in a savings account and you're earning interest on that money in the savings account. That's not really income. If you are buying and selling stocks, depending on how long you hold them and all sorts of other factors, that might not be considered income. If you're receiving dividend income from stocks, that might not be considered income. If you're running your own business, the money you receive from this business might not be considered income. It might be considered profit. And again, you really need to talk to an accountant about how to structure this because if you try to structure everything as profit, you can get in trouble with the IRS, which is not a good situation. And then you wind up owing back taxes and it's just and penalties and fines and, and there might even be criminal sanctions. So don't try to maneuver this based on this video because or don't try to like adjust your books based on this video. This is a complicated situ situation. The bottom line is though, yes, you can run a business and still receive TDIU, but it depends on two factors. One, how much income are you deriving from the business? And two, what part of the money coming in in the business is actually profit and not actual income. Again, talk to your accountant about this. This is not something that I can tell you from a video. It's not something that an accountant can tell you from a video. It's something that you need to work with an accountant hand in hand on because the distinction between profit and income is something that the IRS does care about uh, and you don't want to get in trouble with them just to try to maintain your TDIU benefits. That said, if uh, you think you're entitled to TDIU or you think you're entitled to a higher rating or the VA has denied your claim, give us a call, see what we can do for you to to do that. Until next time, take care.